Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the Entertainment Hacker channel. I am filling in for John Paul Rye here on the show. This video is also airing over on the Last Outlaws YouTube channel. I wanted to begin this video, funny enough, reading you the actual definition for SJW or Social Justice Warrior. A pejorative term for an individual who promotes socially progressive views, including feminism, civil rights, and multiculturalism. The accusation that someone is an SJW carries implications they are pushing personal validation rather than any deep-seated conviction and engaging in disingenuous arguments. And honestly, I think that's what this case is all about because I've seen a clear unfairness in the portrayal in the media in terms of the response uh, regarding the Hollywood industry, including producers, directors, and people who run these projects behind the scenes, these big movies. Amber Heard has been getting roll after roll after roll in these big name, big box projects such as The Stand, Aquaman 2. So these are very glamorous projects that any actor or actress would want to be involved with. While at the same time, we've seen Johnny Depp be removed from Pirates of the Caribbean, and Fantastic Beasts, two of his biggest money makers at this time. So there is a clear unfairness there where Hollywood is favoring Amber Heard over Johnny Depp when we have seen time and time again that any arguments provided by Amber Heard have a counter argument from Johnny Depp who claims that she was the abuser. So when we talk about what's actually happening, what's actually happening among the people what we see is an outpouring of support for Johnny Depp, a fan base which has rallied to support him. And on the other side, we see outlets like Twitter promoting this idea that Johnny Depp is going through some downward spiral, that uh, Johnny Depp is under siege, he's falling apart. I think they use the term radioactive. That's all media smoke and mirrors. That's not what's actually happening. What's actually happening is we're seeing the people in Hollywood trying to um, virtue signal their, their true intentions. I'm not going to work with Johnny Depp. See, I'm a good person. Our company is good. We're, uh, we're virtuous, right? So there is a clear problem with that. And I think that the people see that. But the mainstream media has continued to suggest exactly the opposite, when even cases that Amber Heard has won are now under appeal. In America, every man is innocent until proven guilty. And I think the evidence clearly indicates that not only is Johnny Depp not guilty, but that Amber Heard herself is guilty of certain uh, activities. So I think the reality of the situation is that, yeah, it was probably a bad relationship with some good things. Of course, every relationship has good and bad, but this seems to have a lot of bad. Okay, it was a bad relationship. Does that make Johnny Depp an abuser? Of course not. Of course not. It hasn't been proven. There's no evidence to suggest uh, that that's true. Does Johnny Depp struggle with his own problems? Of course, we all do. We all do. And I think for her to take the high road and pretend that she's virtuous and good and has never made a mistake, uh, only proves that she is being disingenuous in her arguments and is using this case along with help from the virtue signaling mainstream media and Hollywood elites to further her own career on the back of Johnny Depp. So that's my take on it. Thank you, folks. Uh, Twitter had this big story out. I wanted to come back and respond to it. Thank you for watching the Entertainment Hacker channel and The Last Outlaws. Thank you very much and take care.